We like to think we know ourselves well enough to know how we'd react in an emergency situation. But when lives are in danger and fight or flight mode kicks in, most people have no control over the way they act. In late March 2018, a group of young men and women in Camden, New Jersey, were the first to arrive at the scene of a deadly fire. It wasn't until firefighters arrived at the scene minutes later that everyone realized just what a group of unlikely heroes managed to do. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. At 12.13 in the morning, a local resident called 911 to report that a fire had broken out at an historic three-story brownstone apartment building in Camden, New Jersey. The apartment, which had been split into a duplex, was home to an elderly couple on one side and student from Rutger University, Camden, on the other. After receiving the frantic 911 call, dispatch notified firefighters at Camden City Fire Department of the emergency at 206 Cooper Street in Camden. Within just four minutes, crews from the firehouse arrived at the scene and quickly assessed the situation. However, by the time firefighters got to the apartment building, they discovered they weren't the first ones at the scene. While the firefighters were pulling up in front of the building, the crews saw young men who were possibly students from Rutgers University, Camden, helping out. The latter company noticed what we think were students from Rutgers bringing the elderly gentleman out of the building, said Camden City Fire Department Chief Michael Harper. However, the young men left the scene before the firemen could get their names and ask them what happened. Before leaving the scene, the young men left the 90-year-old man that escaped the fire in the care of paramedics. While he appeared to be fine, the first responders rushed the elderly man, Albert Parker, to Cooper Hospital to be thoroughly examined. Doctors determined Albert was perfectly healthy thanks to the Good Samaritans that helped him escape the fire. Sadly, firefighters didn't make it in time to save the 90-year-old's 62-year-old son, John Parker, who became trapped in his third-floor bedroom. Using one of our thermo imaging cameras, the officer with Ladder 1 noticed that we did have a fatality in the room, Chief Harper said. It's an unfortunate situation for us, for me as the mayor of this great city of Camden, said Mayor Frank Moran. We had a fire here at 206 Cooper Street and a life that perished. After the fire was put out, the crews asked around about who the young men were that risked their lives to save the elderly man. Within a few days, word spread about what happened, and the Good Samaritans were identified as a group of Rutgers students. When officials from the university heard about what the students did, they weren't terribly surprised. They are completely engaged in our community. We have a huge civic engagement effort, said Mary Beth Daisy, Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs. They feel a part of the community, and so they feel responsibility to the community as well. The Rutgers students, Jonathan perez Gaten, Mateo Resinovic, and Corey Zeitko, eventually came forward as the students who helped save the 90-year-old from the fire, which is still being investigated, but it's believed to have been started accidentally. According to the Rutgers University Camden students, the night of the fire was just a typical Friday evening for the group of friends, who spent the night hanging out and playing video games like Nintendo's Mario Kart at a friend's apartment near campus. Just before 12.15 in the morning, Tammy Manessis and Vanessa Solis Palma were tired of playing video games and decided to head home. When they stepped out onto the street, however, they couldn't help but notice the smell of smoke in the air. As the pair walked down the street, the smell of fire got stronger until they saw fire burst out of a window of a brownstone complex. Tammy immediately called the four friends she and Vanessa had just to tell them what she had witnessed. The four friends ran out and all six students ran into the apartment. When they reached the sidewalk outside the duplex, they noticed no one was running out of the building. They also noticed that no smoke alarms were going off and that no sirens from the fire station. So the students took matters into their own hands. While Vanessa was calling 911 to report the fire, 22-year-old Corey Zitko contacted campus security and Jonathan Perez, 22, and Mateo Resinovic, 23, started banging on the fence outside the apartment and screaming to get the attention of anyone in the building. When no one came out, Mateo's instincts kicked in and he literally broke down the front door to get inside. I wasn't really thinking, I just broke the front door glass, said Mateo, who cut his hand while using his elbow and fist to break the glass door. Once the door was shattered, Mateo, Jonathan, and Corey ran into the building screaming, fire, fire. Jonathan and Corey managed to wake up 90-year-old Albert and then helped him down the stairs and out to safety. Fire 101 you're taught as a kid to get everyone out of the building, knock on all the doors. I'm just going with it, said Corey. While Albert was outside, one of the students ran back inside to get him slippers and some coats to keep him warm. But then he asked the boys, where's my son? 
Mateo ran back inside one last time to look for the man's 63-year-old son, but tragically couldn't get to him. I went in one more time after he asked me to look for his son, Mateo said. I went to the third floor and saw the room was just engulfed. I yelled a couple of times and didn't hear anything. I thought it would be better not to open that door. Shortly after, the fire department arrived and got the fire under control within 30 minutes. I like our community, our neighborhood, just trying to keep it safe and do the right thing, said Jonathan. He and his friends were glad they could help but felt awful that they didn't get Albert's son in time. I saw that the room that was on fire was just engulfed. Flames were popping underneath the door. Made a decision not to open it up because I didn't want the fire to spread even faster, Mateo said. I'm sorry for his loss. That's all I can really say. After the brave students were identified, the 90-year-old was reunited with his rescuers and was able to thank them for what they did for him and his family. You saved my life. Thank you, Albert said to the friends. We had one tragedy, said Jamie Parker, Albert's son. Thank God the other one didn't happen and my father was saved. We want everyone to know how thankful we are for what you did.